This is the energy vibration for the year, um, mm -hmm. for the year 2020. I want to say thank you for being here. Thank you for being back. Thank you for supporting my channel. And this year is the year of an air, air energy and you guys are fire. So be aware of that. Okay. So let's go in. It's a year of new beginnings. Okay. So let's go in and see what is coming out for you, Aries. Okay. So in the month of January, I see you overcoming an issue. I see you're moving forward, moving forward in a positive direction. So this is good. You have your own fire energy that is coming out. Some of you could be buying new cars or some of you could be overcoming situation that was transpired. But I see that you are moving forward um, in January. So a lovely fire energy that comes up. In February, the energy of the magician, this is the energy of an air energy. This is giving you an opening up um, doors of opportunity. Um, some of you were right about something in February. If you're trying to do um, make changes in your life, January and February is going to be good, okay? So you have fire in here beginning the year. In the month of March, I see the energy of the tower, whatever the issue and situation you were dealing with or you are going to be dealing with in March, I see a tower moment coming where something is leaving your life. So this is another fire energy. And this is this could affect a lot of you because it is all about the ending of issues and situation. Balance is going to be coming back in your life. The energy of the tower is fire and it's moving away things and situation that no longer serves you. So um, this is wonderful um, because the first um, um, quarter from January to February, we have you begin the year with a fire where you're moving forward. You have this fire within you. You overcome things moving forward and then um, you're going to be receiving help um, and whatever that was in your way that was blocking you automatically is going to be moving out of your way. As we look at the second um, quarter, we have uh, in the month of April, the hangman. This is a water energy where you're going within. The hangman is always uh, um, self-searching, um, self-searching. So whatever is transpiring, I see you self-searching in the month of uh, April. And whenever we go within, we're trying to figure out, we're trying to take time to balance out situations in our lives. So another water energy comes up in the month of May. So light is going to be shed on something, whatever that was transpiring, you're going to be finding out by going in within in the month of April, you're going to be seeing the truth about the situation, whatever that was happening and transpiring, the truth is going to come out because I see that you went within to um to to look at yourself and look at situation around you and you're coming out seeing the truth in the month of may as we move forward the energy of the sun is in june a wonderful um situation because it's as if you went and you did self-searching you saw the truth you make the changes and you're coming out on top okay it is not a success it is more of uh, balancing out your energy, understanding yourself. This is not, the sun energy is not a matter of success. It is um, seen with the hangman and uh, the hermit is that you go within in search of the truth in yourself and you come out finding it. So the first six months, January, and J January February and June is going to be wonderful for you. Um, January is fire that is helping you to move forward. 
uh, February is uh, um, the magician which is an air energy that is helping you um, to build on whatever it is that you want to change and June is the energy of the Sun as we move forward July is the energy of the lovers so whatever is transpiring some of you could be getting married in July or you could be meeting your twin flame or soulmate whatever and however this is coming up for you it is very important it's another water sign so it's a third water sign that you have that is coming up and whatever is happening in July some of you could be getting married some of you could be meeting twin flame soulmate accept um, in the month of uh, um, August a lot of secrets um, this is the energy of the moon the energy of the moon have secrets uh, um, around you in the month of August so be aware of this there's a lot of secrecy around you in the month of August whatever is happening and transpiring be aware of uh, um, the situations around you the energy of the devil comes up in the month of September so I see the ego coming up in September it's a fire energy whatever is happening and transpiring this fire energy however you're going to be using it I see there could be secrecy with partnerships so secrecy that is going on um, around you with people around you so the ego is playing and whatever that is transpiring with this energy of the ego um, I see some of you are going to be realizing that your partners have some secrets and hold some secrets okay the end of a cycle is coming up in the month of uh, October the end of a cycle and this is good because whatever the secrecy whatever that was happening um, in your relationship whatever that you start to hear with or you're brought over in the year 2020 I see a cycle the end of a cycle is coming in and this is very good because it's bringing in Elin okay and this is wonderful when it's uh, um, bringing in Elin I see transition is coming up so the end is going to come to all the secret because I see all the secrets are coming out transition is definitely coming up this energy of the transition is showing up because whatever the cycle is that was broken a new beginning is about to begin and this is going to be good in the month of December the eye princess comes up the energy of this year has to do with uh, um, the eye princess and the fool now the energy of the eye princess is uh, um, the divine female that is coming in to help and the divine female is going to be coming up in the month of um, December 2020 so this is really wonderful this is really positive because you're ending the year um, with the divine female it's a lot of emotional um, situation in this year for you Aries be aware of this but at the end of this year you guys are really going to be having a new start okay so whatever that has happened and transpired I see you coming out and uh, there is um, going to be so much um, new possibilities after the year 2020 for you um, Aries remember that this year is a is an um, a year where there's a lot of air energies okay so wow okay wow so um so remember um whatever is happening and transpiring um this year is a lot of air energies that is happening and transpiring so what I'm seeing happening is some of you are going to be seeing um, some of you um, you um, could have car issue in January you're seeing the truth there was some deceptiveness around your car so be aware of that what we're also seeing is that a tower moment is coming down and you're seeing the truth about your partner whatever and however that is affecting you I see transition is going to be coming up between you and your partner Whatever lower energies and things that was blocking you, I see a tower moment coming up. This year is not a year of success for you guys. It's a year of moving away, okay? So, let's see what is coming out in the first 
um, month going in January going in February so January going in February I see the energy of a tower moment so um, this is good because whatever you are dealing with as you move out of January into February a tower moment came in release you from something and I see a new start is going to be coming up because the energy of the magician is here so you have twice the tower energy and the tower energy is 7 and 16 that is coming up for you that is two of your numbers I see a situation with work whatever um, is there with work I see um, in March um, if you had a, uh, a job um, this could be leaving your life okay so uh, whatever that is happening with you and work if you had a job um, in March it is going to be leaving your life okay so you have ended a cycle with that that situation those people because there's a tower moment coming down towards your work so whatever you were doing I see a tower moment coming down towards your work I see new love is coming in in um, April going in May I see new love so I see that some of you could be pregnant you could be having the baby in um, yeah you could be having the baby um, in April going in May whatever is transpiring I see you could be having the baby in April going in May so um, it's definitely a baby that is coming in and I see um, it could be happening in April going in May then we see the end to burdens um, your burdens is going to be over in May going in June whatever the issue is whatever the situation is in May going into June I see your burdens is going to be over so this is going to be good okay your burdens is definitely going to be over now what is happening and transpiring is that as we look at July going into August I see the energy of the eight of ones I see a lot of communication between you and your partner whatever um, that was there whatever that was happening I see a lot of communication coming in between you and maybe a new love that is coming in in the month of July August so some of you could be going on vacation but however you're meeting someone new and I see a lot of communication coming up between you and this person as we look at August going into September I see the energy of the ten of Pentacles but I see there is some deceptiveness coming with this money whatever and however this money is coming I see lies and deceptiveness um, um, with this money because the energy of uh, um, the ego is with this money so however this money is coming in I see secrecy around some money secrecy around some money and um, the energy and a lot secrecy around some money but it's like um, some of you if you um, there is something there is some secrecy around some money whatever is happening and transpiring there's definitely some secrecy around some money a whole lot of money when you leave uh, when you leave um, the month of August going in September so there is in September the energy so if a lot of money was stolen from you I see it is returning because there was some secret secrecy around some money and I see this is returning because it was as if it was taken from you and now it's being returned yeah I see the energy of the Empress so this is good whatever that is transpiring I see a situation where um, this the cycle with a situation the cycle with your mom the cycle with your grandmother but this has to do with your financial situation so there's a cycle been broken so um, this could be if you were blocked if you're financially if you were financially blocked I see that this is going to be resolved okay so that is good the energy of the magician comes up again so you guys are dealing with one seven and sixteen one seven sixteen and ten one seven sixteen and ten what is transpiring here is that the magician is coming up so as something is transforming in your life and this could be very spiritually 
um, whatever it is and whatever is transpiring this is extremely spiritually because it comes up with the energy of transformation and the eye princess so whatever has happened whatever has transpired the energy of transition with the eye princess is here and it is very beautiful because whatever that is happening and transpiring I'm seeing positive alignment of energies is coming out so that is good so let's move on um, the tower moment is uh, something is leaving your life in January February April and May okay whatever is transpiring I see for some of you could be in January some of you could be February some of you could be April some of you could be May but babies are going to be born for you guys in the month of a uh, uh, lot in the month of April and May then we see something leaving your life in the month of March okay so um, that's happening I see work is going to be good for some of you in February I see some of you seeing the truth about your work and I see that um, some issues with work is going to be cleared up and I see the burden is going to be over all right let's see what is coming up for January for the Aries uh, the Aries uh, um, for January 2020 January till December 2020 for the Aries okay in January I see multiple opportunities coming in so whatever that was happening and transpiring in January I see multiple opportunities is going to be coming in if you guys are looking for a car January is going to be good because I see you're going to be having to choose from a lot okay I see you overcome a situation with a Gemini whether this Gemini is or you overcome a situation that was transpiring with a man um, this could be someone who have affected you in your work life or in your private life but I see you have the tools to overcome a situation with a man that has affected you okay so however that is coming up definitely I see you um, resolving that situation with that person okay so um, in the month of March I see um, something leaving your life but it's as if your spirit guides remove it okay whenever the star comes up with a tower it's like uh, fireworks it can be good it can have something to do with your work uh, if you work for yourself but fireworks is as if uh, something really is leaving your life and it is creating fireworks because it is as if it's broken something is being broken and this is coming up as some of you had some blockages in your life okay that's how blockages is removed so if you you were blocked by someone who blocked your finance who blocked your way and that sort of a thing is so it says the angels and guides is coming in and just extreme with extreme power because these are the angels and guides that is coming in with extreme power to remove that blockages out of your life and this is going to be extremely good because this is a move to um, the universal angels and guides move that blockage and then we have some secrets you're going to be going within um, via meditation however you go within and connect with yourself you are going to be finding out something that you weren't aware of so be aware of this in the month of April and that is good because it's something about yourself you're seeing where the blockage is in your life who had placed these blockage um, some of you are going to be seeing why you were blocked from work some of you are going to the tower moment is there that is going to be removing the blocks and you are seeing it clearly because it fell on the sun so that means whatever the blockage was it is going to be removed I see an end coming in but it's a positive end this end had to be done this ending must happen so that you can move forward okay whatever the ending that is coming in June it needs to happen so that you can move forward okay so the energy with the lovers I see conflicts with the lovers whatever is transpiring I see people who are already married there's a lot of conflicts okay so um, expect that this year with marriages conflicts is going to be there um, between you and your partner okay 
so whatever is transpiring people who are already married there's going to be a lot of conflicts people are going to be getting married and I see long-term stability for those people I see some good news coming in um, there was some secrets in the organization and I see some good news is going to be coming in I see the offer of an apology is coming in I see this um, um, information coming in also so this is good because uh, whatever it is in the month of uh, August there was some secrecy in the organization and whatever the secrecy was in the organization it's all coming out now I see the end to the energy of the ego that is coming up in September an end to the energy of the ego and this is good because what is transpiring is that whatever the issue and the situation is I see an end coming up to this ego okay and definitely um, in August going into September I see that um, an organization is going to have to pay you um, some money uh, some of you um, for uh, um, a deceptive situation I see love coming at you this is good because it's as if a cycle has broken um, some of you um, could be divorcing a cycle has broken because there was some conflicts but then in the month of October I see love coming in with the energy of uh, uh, infinity love is going to be coming in uh, to you in the month of October infinity love okay um because it's the world with the energy of love oh um, transition I see transition with friendship coming up um, a whole lot of you transition with friendship transition with your financial stability transition with money I see that in November if you have a business this is going to be very good but I see transition with your business transition with information transition and communication with friendship and that sort of a thing is happening so um, that is something that we need to look out for okay um, the energy of the eye princess is here and I see long-term stability that is coming in so um, in December as I said December you end a cycle in your life I see a new beginning coming in for 2024 you because you have the energy of a new start um, in this year just like the energy vibration of the year I see long-term stability is coming in with especially for um, um, you know you it's as if you found spirituality and this is going to be what you're going to be working with going forward so whatever is transpiring is as if you have found spirituality and by finding spirituality you're going to be working um, with this going forward some of you if you have found new love in the month of October I see this person is not only become going to become a lover and a friend but I see this having a long-term stability in your life okay so I see um, um, whoever you meet and wh whatever new love come in your life it's eternity and this person is going to be in your long your life for a very very long time okay so that is beautiful and I see you and this person is going to be working together to build um, financial stability and build a good foundation in your life this is really positive let's go ahead and look at the energy for the animal totem to see which animals are coming up for you Aries Leo Aries um, I always say Aries Leo you Aries for the year 2020 what two animals are coming up to work with uh, um, what two animals are coming up to work um, with this okay what two animals so we have the auto the auto is here and this is just so powerful the auto is uh, um, really 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 a powerful sign um, this energy comes up uh, and the auto is really one of those 
just such a fantastic animal um, that you can find okay the otter is incredible it is just one of those beautiful animals and the lamb you guys have the otter and the lamb and I can see the energy of the lamb because that's coming in the third quarter okay so let me give you your your best month your best month is going to be January um, June July and uh, uh october okay so january june and july and october are your best month now the energy of the lamb is so meek the otter and the lamb is so meek um the lamb is an earth and the otter so what is what is um transpiring um with the energy of the otter the otter is um really quiet really just keeping to itself um and it's kind of weird that the otter is a water animal, okay? So the otter is a water animal. So you have water and hurt animal that is coming in to help you balance out your situation, okay? So the otter is um, very, very powerful because it is very common, this otter, and it just stay by itself and work. The otter is a water animal. So I see you have a water animal that is going to help because you're a fire person. So you're going to receive this energy of this water animal that is going to be helping you to push you further. And it's like you're taking your time, but you're working on yourself and you're preparing for the, um, for a new start. Okay. And the energy from the lamb, the energy from the lamb is an earth the animal the is, is is hurt okay energy from the lamb is the hurt sign and what is happening is that with this hurt sign you are seeing that you're taking on the energy of the lamb and as you take on the energy of the lamb what is happening is that you're meek you're finding inner peace and you're being weak and that is what the energy in octo in april and may is where you're finding in a peace to deal with issues and situation and this is very good okay so wonderful all right let's see what is the energy that is coming up for you guys in the year 2020 the energy is action so whatever is transpiring the energy is action so i see a lot of you guys taking a lot of action in this year and this is going to be good because it's going to be coming out very positive for you a lot of actions is going to be taken, but this action is going to be in a positive way. Then I see simply love. So a lot of you are going to be going back to basis and understand what it's all about. What is love? What it is loving myself? What, what it is understanding? What is love? How do I love? How many different types of love there is? Love for my child. First, love for myself love for my parents love for my siblings love for uh, my family on a whole but then um you know loving yourself is going to be the first thing so i see you're going back to think about all these love and how you um you focus on this love because you're going to realize that not loving yourself it's, it's not all about loving yourself but it's about loving other people too so it's as if you're going back to understand the different levels of love and how that works in your life then we have archangel raziel and we have heart so you have archangel raziel coming in with the earth energy that is going to be balancing you out and this is going to be wonderful and positive because what is happening and transpiring is that this earth energy is balance you out because you are vibrating in um, a year that is air. Okay. You're vibrating in a year that is hair. And what has happened and transpired is that this energy of hair, um, it, it, you could be like up in the sky because hair and fire. So what it is, is that Archangel Raziel is coming in and is using the energy of her to balance you guys out. Okay. So, um, this is wonderful. I want to say thank you. Please remember, um, to connect to my channel and become a member in order to receive uh, these, uh, year reading and these extended reading, you have to connect uh, 
um, and become a member to my channel and then you'll be able to access the extended reading you have to use the super extended um, membership in order to get the extended of this year reading and the quarter readings okay the monthly readings are in the first extended i want to say thank you so much and wishing you a wonderful year namaste until next time mm -hmm.